President John F. Kennedy was assassinated in November of 1963, a long time ago. But Pittsburgh's Cyril Wecht says the investigation into the assassination is far from over. Wecht has been outspoken with his opinions for quite some time, and he tells our legal editor Julie Grant that more information will be coming out soon. On November 22, 1963, in Dallas, Texas, President John F. Kennedy was murdered in broad daylight. The Warren Commission concluded Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone when he shot the president from the sixth floor of the Texas Book Depository. For years, many have doubted those conclusions and believed it was a greater conspiracy. The Warren Commission report is sheer nonsense. One of the most outspoken critics of the Warren report is nationally acclaimed forensic pathologist Dr. Cyril Wecht. There's no way in the world that uh, what they depict uh, happened. Wecht has been consulted on numerous high profile cases, but the one he's most proud of is the JFK case. I'm proud of it because. I've had the courage from my eyes, I don't say this egotistically, uh, to withstand the pressures from uh, federal government and many other groups. According to Wecht, this case is far from over, and the month of October could be a new beginning. And all the withheld documents are to be released. The 1992 JFK Records Release Act calls for documents that have been hidden from the public to be released after 25 years. This year is when that will happen. This was a conspiracy involving then the overthrow of the government, uh, uh, the killing of the president, uh, anywhere else in the world. It's called coup d'etat. Wecht can't wait for the new evidence to be released. He says it hasn't been easy voicing his opinion that opposes the government findings. Sometimes you can't help but wonder about certain things that happen or some things that don't happen in terms of uh, disappointment, that recognition. But that's okay. Wecht says it's a price he's delighted to pay. He'll speak at events in Dallas and D.C. when the new information comes out. Julie Grant, KDKA TV News.